Welcome to Psychology Daily. We finished the week on gambling and today I'm going to tell you about whether self-help treatment can be helpful to overcome gambling problems. Let's start. Cassian Bodrout and colleagues try to answer whether it is enough to motivate ourselves to overcome gambling problems. They made three motivation telephone interviews in experimental group. The control group was assigned to waiting list and received no treatment at that time. Participants in the experimental group also received a workbook. The 145 pages workbook was divided into five chapters. The first section emphasized the gambler's motivation and benefits to change. The second section helps the gambler identify high-risk gambling situations and strategies to address them. The third phase focuses on the settings of treatment goal and provides information about gambling traps. The first phase aims to identify gambling-related thoughts and to understand their contribution to the maintenance of problem gambling behavior. The last chapter focuses on cognitive restructuring and relapse prevention. Participants were contacted 1, 6 and 12 months later to complete telephone assessment. Results reveal that experimental group showed a statistically significant reduction in the number of gambling disorder criteria met, gambling habits and gambling consequences by the end of the study. Perceived self-efficacy and life satisfaction also significantly improved after 11 weeks for the experimental group, but not for the control group. Most importantly, all those changes maintained through 1, 6 and 12 months follow-ups. Thus, this short self-help lasts and effective at least as long as one year. As you understand from this video, workbook and motivation is enough to overcome problems with gambling. I hope you enjoyed this video, as well as this week. See you tomorrow.